guys. Welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watchers. If you're brand new to the channel, happy you landed here. So before I jump in, um, this is a little bit of a new arrangement. Normally I sit right there at that chair, but there's usually a desk there. Um, was getting a new desk. It arrived damaged. So the new one comes, I think, on the 1st. So I'm sitting at the bar, that's my kitchen, this is my living room, welcome to my home, lighting's horrendous, audio sucks, I know, you don't need to tell me in the comments, I got it. So we'll just tough it out for this reading, okay? Also, note to self, um, this is the last series of readings where I'm going in my normal Aries through Pisces order. There is a reason for that and I did a special recording you're going to see a little pop-up here that says, watch this video, and um, I explained it. So only about 1,600 people have viewed it. <laughs> there are a lot more people that should be watching that. So it explains why I'm making the changes I'm making. Shorthand it. I need to get the algorithm to pay attention to my channel. So I'm going to be making some changes to the order to accommodate that goal. Um, so watch the video and you'll learn more about it. All right, here we go. I'm pulling from uh, New Beginnings. Is it New Beginnings or Starry Beginnings? It's a Something Beginnings Oracle. I love this deck. So let's get you a message to kick off this reading, shall we? Here we go. Ooh, perfect Scorpio. You are unlimited, card number 12. What you can create is unlimited. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're a supernova. I love that for you. What you can create is unlimited. Um, and we are in your season. So forgive me for not starting with the happy solar return. Happy birthday to our Scorpio babies. Uh, love you so much. Sending you whew, good wishes for um, health happiness, prosperity, all the good things for your next trip around the sun. Thank you for being a part of this crazy ride with me. Um, really means a lot. And so I wish you all the best. So yes, we're in your season. You're unlimited. What you can create is unlimited. What you can manifest is unlimited. Go for it. Rock on. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to do my split soulmate spread. You can't see the table, but I'll hold up the cards. I'll walk you through it. You know, I always do. Um, and so what we're looking at is the two of you separately. And then of course we'll get the clarifiers. Here we go. Oop, page of Pentacles. So we could have a fresh start. We could be sort of in some new territory even. Your person is stepping into this whole situation rather avoidant you're not going to take any of that crap i can see it already okay so when somebody shows up in the energy of the seven of swords um that means they're not dealing with something head on they're either avoidant they're talking this direction doing you know sidestepping in that direction and their challenge is um five of wands. So yeah, there's some trouble here. There's some chaos, some conflict, tension, um, and they don't want to deal with it. Their opportunity, however, is the king of wands, which deals with it. King of wands, step up, deal with something head on, um, right? You know, you can run, but you can't hide is what I would say the message is for your person on this side of the spread. You're coming in as the queen of wands. So that's what I meant by, yeah, you're not gonna let this person get away with anything here. But your challenge is there's something that's really weighing on you. It's overwhelming. It's a heavy burden at this point. And the opportunity for you, we have the three of cups. The opportunity is how do we get to some form of a reconciliation so that we can kind of get back to the joy correct? The Three of Cups, it'd be like a cause for celebration. Yay! We get to something that's a little bit more celebratory, lighthearted, and that's why I feel like this Page of Pentacles is the fresh start, taking that step, if you will. 
Okay, uh, my neighbor is doing something unusual out here, so if you hear weird noises, I am not sure what she's up to. Buckets and pails are involved, and other tools, I'm not sure, but that's what's going on in case you hear some noises. It's echoey, that's why I'm not sure what you're hearing on your end. All right, so let's jump in. Please remember, this is a general reading. It's not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. The link is always below every video. And you just gotta scroll a little bit and it will take you to my booking page. Also, energies can come through reverse. What that means is I can be talking directly to a cross watcher. So when I'm saying you, 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 it may not be Scorpio. It may be you, you, you watching even if you're the cross watcher. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Page of Pentacles <laughs> comes out twice. <laughs> so here you are saying to me, yeah, this is heavy and fresh start i don't know fresh start i don't know this is a lot so we've got this hanged man smack in the middle here which i feel is representing a little bit of a pause so it's giving you a time to breathe time to evaluate the situation take that thirty thousand foot view um because things have gotten burdensome you're going to need to offload this Ten of Wands. You're going to need a big release here before you can take that first step forward. And so what I'm seeing here is the way, f the way to do that is to really make sure that you're getting some enlightenment first, that you're evaluating it objectively. Uh, yeah, instead of subjectively, because your experience is your experience, but maybe you're looking for a way to see it from all angles, making sure that before you take that first step, because if you're starting from scratch or you're having a fresh start, you don't want to kind of, you know, from the frying pan into the fire or whatever that saying is, right? So I do see opportunities here for a fresh start. I do see though that sometimes this page of page of sorry, page of pentacles is also about learning something new. Um, and you don't want to be learning how to fly the plane as you're building it in midair. So I do feel that hanged man is giving you a chance to sort of evaluate the situation. So you can truly release something here that has been weighing you down and causing you uh, great difficulty and possibly some stress. All right, so let's look at this person. Seven of Swords, how they're showing up. These two cards together aren't great. But then when I see the King of Swords land on it, it's almost like they don't know how to communicate their experience. Underneath is the Ace of Wands. There's an opportunity here for them to take some form of action, which is the opportunity in the near future, King of Wands takes action. So it feels to me like this King of Swords is in normal, upright energy is someone who's the strategist of the tarot. And I'm getting a feeling like this person is trying to find a shortcut. You know, instead of doing what they need to do, they're, they're trying to find a workaround. And it seems a little schemey, um, which I... I'm not fond of, but it could just be that this is somebody who kind of knows that they have not dealt with things up front. And so they're trying to avoid the inevitable, um, but they're going to have to take some action quick, fast, and in a hurry. Because I don't, I don't see you hanging around. I just don't. I'm getting that vibe like Queen of Wands doesn't suffer any fools. So this person isn't necessarily being shady. I feel the shade has already taken place is what I'm trying to say. And they're trying to scramble to figure it out. And that's why they're 
uh, dealing with five of wands in the challenge position is just drama on top of drama on top of drama by their own creation. So let's see that five of wands. Yeah, causing confusion. All right, and, and, and it is part and parcel because they're, um, they're moving very slowly. They're not moving fast enough. Maybe it's difficult um, because you're very open. You're very, there's the Queen of Cups from the bottom of the deck. So let me explain for those of you who are new or who might have forgotten. When I pull from the bottom of the clarifying deck, I'm tapping into unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes. Either way, you can't see it, but it still factors in. So the Queen of Cups is like your emotional availability, your sensitivity, your compassion, your open-heartedness, your love, your generosity of the heart. And so all this drama, all this upheaval, all this emotional confusion and everything is because this person is standing still. I mean, I like the Knight of Pentacles, but in reversed energy, it can be stuck in the mud. And it's causing a lot of chaos, a lot of confusion, a lot of emotional overwhelm for, for, from someone who knows that you have been nothing but good to them, kind to them, generous from the heart. So... Their opportunity going forward, King of Wands, do something. <laughs> yes, yes. <sighs> he thinks he heard me. <laughs> there it is. Okay, take action with this person. It's like you've been traveling lifetimes with each other. Six of Cups, past life, soulmate, King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Now we have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Love and passion is present. It's not a joke. It's real. Ace of Swords. Oh, could have had a V8. Well, there you have it. Like they're going to have this epiphany. Yes, we belong together. Yes. I see it, I want it, I claim it, it's mine. I'm not going to, you know, play this shady little game. Uh, try to take shortcuts, get away with crap. Nope, not doing it anymore. So, okay. But you're coming into the reading at this moment, Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. And you know, you're reaching this point, at least internally you're aware, you have an important decision to make. It's a crossroads moment for you. You have been journeying in a solitary way, hermit, right? It's about introspection, self-awareness, something we kind of do on our own. And the lover's card coming in is a card of choice. Is this the sacred connection I thought it was? And if it, if it is, is it choosing me as well, right? This is the card that shows us that we have free will, but we both have to choose it. Two of Swords. I have an important decision to make. And I'm making it from a sense of um, personal power, self-efficacy. Like, yeah, this is my decision. Um, and I make it from a lot of self-awareness. I've given it a lot of thought. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm clear on what I've brought to the party here. And I'm not, you know, it's not about <clears throat> forcing someone to make a choice they may not be ready to make. It looks to me like whoever you are, you're coming in and you're taking full responsibility for yourself and what you, what you want and the choice you're about to make. So let's see that 10 of wands or that you're making at this moment.
So when I said before, yeah, something shady, something slick here with this person that they're trying to avoid, what's been problematic for you is it's probably been really difficult to even talk, um, to have an honest conversation if you're dealing with somebody who um, is operating from ego or who is, you know, avoidant or controlling or manipulative. Yeah, and with the King of Swords in, in this part of the reading could be coming through reverse, could be coming through a little, you know, secretive and manipulative, etc. For self-serving purposes. I, I'm not I'm not talking about anything evil here. I'm talking about human nature. You know, people get self-serving and they work angles and they try to get away with shit every single day. Yours truly included, we're human, okay? <laughs> and, and, it, and it can just be in the simplest of ways. The problem is when it's in a relationship, it gets really hard. It gets really hard to see a future, to imagine that for the long haul, because it's exhausting. And so that's all I'm saying, and that's all I'm seeing. It could be that simple. Now here I am seeing in unconscious awareness, maybe even playing out behind the scenes, some effort at reconciliation, because this can be a card of reconciliation as well. Mm -hmm. So there, we're not done here, but I feel like what's weighing on you is the conversations are exhausting. Because you're, you're not really talking to the light side. You're talking to the dark side. You're not talking to someone who is coming through authentically. You're talking to someone's ego. Mm -hmm. That's your struggle. So let's see the Three of Cups. Opportunity. I love it when this happens. Yeah, King of Wands is going to have an absolute epiphany. That is what's going to happen here. King of Wands is going to have an epiphany. Let me hold this this way. This is for you in the opportunity, and this is for them. See how, see how I'm seeing that? They have an epiphany. And the King of Wands mantra, I see it, I want it, I claim it, it's mine. They're not going to let you go. This, this is what's available to you. Reconciliation, the oh my God, what was I thinking? Of course, you're, you're, you've captured my heart. You have my, you know, I mean, there's the love, the passion, the past life soulmates, the oh, I see it so clearly, it becomes inescapable for this person. Inescapable. And there comes the growth, the change, and the transformation. Scorpio. The Scorpio mansion created death and rebirth, growth, change, and transformation, right? That's why we have that white rose on that flag. That's why there's a sun peeking up on the horizon, you know, behind the scenes of what is otherwise pretty desolate looking scenery here. Because something has to be left behind. Something has to die off so we can be born anew. And then no more regrets, you know? We let bygones be bygones. The Five of Cups here is maybe regrets of the past, mistakes of the past. That's what we get to leave behind because we grow and we transform. And it seems to me that this death card is part of that process. 
So I don't see it as an ending. I see it as an ending of the sense of despair that you've been feeling, an end of this person's regrets for things that they may have been putting you through themselves as well. I mean, if this person loves you as it looks like they do, you know, then then we have the opportunity for this fresh start and we get to offload all this negative heavy karma. But it comes by way of this sort of evaluation, this sort of, oh, let me take a look-see and wait for some enlightenment here. And once we have that, you know, from this is Neptune, the great spirit. And it is very much a form of guidance that, you know, once we sort of evaluate it and then we go, okay, yeah, now, now, now I see. Now I see some change is coming through and I can offload all this. It comes in as such a relief and we can let bygones be bygones and part with our sadness and any residual you know guilt for this person despair for you grief whatever and move forward yeah baby steps perhaps you always want to be a little cautious maybe um but yeah you're unlimited to what you can create not only in your life but in this connection if you so desire so that's what I have for you for this part of the reading. And as you know, I'm going to take it to the extended and I'm calling it King of Wands. We're looking at it from their point of view. So if this is spoken to you, what I want to do is help you see it from their point of view, their perception of you, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you. What are they receiving from you? Good, bad, or indifferent. Um, their physical chemistry kind of level of fulfillment with you and where do they see this connection headed. So that information can be helpful for those of you who feel like you need a little leg up, you need a little bit of an edge, especially when it comes to the frustrations with this BS, okay? Especially if you wanna to get to the reconciliation, it could be quite helpful. The links for that are below. Option one, please note, is a monthly renewal and you get a bunch of stuff. Click that link, it tells you what you get. Option number two is just this extended, one and done. And option number three, as always, is the all access pass to everything. Also, before I give you the astrology that showed up here today, if you've enjoyed this reading and have not yet done so, please click subscribe below. That's our energetic exchange. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so here we go. We've got the page of pentacles, not once but twice. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. As I said, hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. We have got our king of swords, the little devil, is Aquarius. We have got the knight of pentacles, uh, Virgo, queen of cups, Cancerian energy. King of wands, not once but twice, is Leo, king of cups, but of course is Scorpio. Queen of wands, love her, Aries. Uh, hermit is Virgo. Lovers is Gemini, the devil, Capricorn. And um, we close out here with Death Card, which is more Scorpio. That's what I have for you. I am headed to the extended. The links are below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.